Hello there YouTube, this is the Inflatable Mango and I'm back with the next Resident Evil 4 Pro Mode walkthrough guide for you guys and in this one we've now started um, we're now going to start on the island so this will be the beginning of chapter 5 so this will be chapter 5 one so without further ado let's get on with it Okay then guys, so I'm going to skip this bit as usual, just to try and save a bit of time on the video. And we'll skip all this crap because you guys can watch that. So, right, I'm just going to heal myself before we do anything because we had that Salazar fight. Which didn't go quite so well <laughs> as I planned. But yeah, let's go with it. So I need to buy a... Um, we need, so, yeah, we sold the... Um, Sniper rifle, so we need to make sure we buy a, buy one this uh, this in this episode at the next available merchant. So so yeah, you want to come down here? I'm pretty sure there's nothing down this. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Yeah, so we can go straight up here. So yeah, we can all that. So come down here and go right along this platform, and we can hear Ashley yet again. So unfortunately, we get reunited with her soon. And getting to here will trigger this little mini cutscene thing. So there we go. Right now, from here, I would recommend you shoot out. I think you can shoot out that um, light. We'll check. I'm not 100%, but I will just see. Yep. Shoot out that spotlight because that will save you a lot of a lot of like time and give you a bit more chance to get across here. Right now. If you do get spotted by that, it'll, I think I'll, I'll, I might just get spotted by this guy. Then um, it will cause a um, one of the guys with the massive chain mach rail machine guns to come out, which he might well do anyway. Yep, he does. So you're still gonna have to tend with them. Right, and especially on professional difficulty, this guy is ridiculously hard to kill. Um, for me, not so much because I've got the Chicago and the other weapon. So it's just a case of waiting until he's reloading or finding him in the first place would be a start, wouldn't it? Okay, so he's in there. Let's give him a, round, a few rounds back. Oh shit. Okay, we'll see what he's. see what how powerful he is against the laser. Not so powerful now, are ya? So right, uh, he's out of the way. So basically, yeah, we need to clear this area of. He's the only one with a real, who's actually a real threat. These other ones are just a piece of piss. They're just normal zombies. So we take out them. Okay, so now it's just a case of clearing any way as you go. Now, we don't need to collect any items particularly unless we, re unless you, you know, really want them. So. And then you need to make your way up to where Ashley was, and you'll see that there's... Where is it? Check. So you check these, and that will trigger off the laser. Now, basically, we need to use these mirrors that you're seeing in here to project it back to the um, to the other pillar on the right-hand side. Just that one there. Clear out that. There we go, so now we're going to go up to this one. So that one is projecting over there, so we need to turn this one slightly. So around the back of here is the ladder to climb up, so we'll go up the ladder. And that'll take us up here. And now we can... Oh, where's he shooting me from? Motherfucker. Where's he coming from? Rotate it. So you want to rotate that till it's, uh, till it's over there to that one. And then press B or the relevant button to back out of it. And then we jump down again. And now we're going to run over to here where we killed this other guy. 
And behind this box is another ladder, so we're gonna go up this ladder now. And we've got this second one. Um, so yeah, there's pretty much always, as far as I'm aware, always magnum ammo up here. So this is also another good place to come if you want to get some of that, because that's quite scarce. And rotate that. Into this one. And once we get it there, it'll unlock, uh, it will unlock the door. So now we can make a run for it and go to there. So run around here, jump off here. I can't see where this guy who's shooting me is, but hey ho, we don't need to worry about him. So now we can run into here, around here. Got some ammo things here. Yeah, we definitely want them, there's herbs in there. So we'll grab them and we'll continue on. You know, there's only one way you can go, so you can... Up. Yeah. All right. Nope, we're good. Okay, so from here we can now go here and just clamp this ladder. So it'll be a green kind of action thing. So, so we press that and we'll clamp that last clamp ladder. And the first thing to do is take up this guy here. Okay, now he's out of the way. Let's see if he's left us anything good behind. No, it's just ammo. So, so if you guys want the ammo, get it, obviously. But if you don't, like in my case, don't worry. Right, and then we jump over here. And there's several ways to do this, but this is the way I do it. I always come in here first. So coming in here, there'll be enemies down here, these new guys. So take out them. And... Do the same as usual, keep check behind you. So we've got a red herb over here. And you may notice over here there's a barrel with some um, rocks. So shoot the barrel. That will move the rocks out of the way. Now in here is the next treasure. So we can climb up here. And we shall get the cat one, which is in here. Which is the get golden lin lynx or linux, however you pronounce it. In your particular country. So jump down, there we go. Um, and I don't sell that one straight away because there's two eyes you can collect which you put into each of the eye sockets and that creates the, um, I don't know what it is, I think it's the jeweled Lynx or Linux, whatever the fuck it's called. So that I'm going to have because it's rifle ammo and rifles. Good. Okay, so they come out here. So this is the um, alternative route you would have come if you didn't want the treasure. So you could, you could just ignore all that and come around here. So come around here. And you've got a little bit of cover here. So we're going to take advantage of it. So we shoot the barrel up here. Oh shit. That's very, very close. Okay, so for, you know, obvious reasons, I'm just going to use this because it's going to clear them all out in one shot. But yeah, if you guys obviously won't get that. So again, so you'd, it'd be a little bit more of a complicated task. But just take cover around here. No pop out every now and then to shoot and you know there's not really anything else I can say for that um, I'd go this way as well this way is easier there's, there's usually guys, there's guys in here though so get ready to shoot them right now you can run straight through here there'll be ammo and some form of um, health item usually just a green herb, but it may well be a... sometimes I've been in there and there's been red herbs been um, first aid spray so yeah, you get up to here and shoot the shoot that barrel like we did in the um... oh you motherfucker you motherfucker you say to him right, now jump down here so yeah, shoot the barrel uh, barrel on the um, cart like we did in the um, way back when we did the church section with um, when we first met the um, oh god, when was it? You guys know what I mean? Where we had to do the colour puzzle. You don't need to kill off these guys, but I just prefer to because it, I don't like them sneaking up on me. It's locked. So. Oh yeah, you need to press. Them. 
press the switch. I'll unlock the door. Okay, now in here is a mer where we get to is there's a merchant, so we're gonna see him Welcome. and get us our rifle back. Because you will need it now definitely you need is the time you need to buy the rifle. At least the rifle, if not the semi um auto rifle. Is that all? Because we um you will need this in the next area. Um I can use the um that I've got the option really of using this or this. So um You know you don't actually you don't need it. But you're going to struggle without it, put it that way, because there's an um, enemy in the next section that you need to... Um, in the next section you'll, be, you'll gain a different scope, so you don't need to buy the scope, um, but definitely I'd say get the rifle. Um, you get a, a scope called the infrared scope, um, which to kill these certain enemies you need to shoot the parasites inside them. But the only way that you can see where the parasites are is with this um, infrared scope. So without that, it's going to be uh, you know you're wasting, going to be wasting a hell of a lot of ammo trying to find these places, um, and you know it's it's just you know just just do it basically. <laughs> I'll stop rambling. What are you buying? Right, I'm going to retune this up. There we go, right, we're good. Come back at any time. So there we go, typewriter right near the merchant. Now come along here. And we'll take out all these guys, because they just Um when I did this on um you know, before I had the Chicago um typewriter, I literally just ran through here. So once you get to this white door, it'll be the next area. So you can get as far as here, press open, and, and whether they're about to hit you or whatever, it won't actually collect as damage, so that's what I did. So if when you come in straight in here, these um, these open, so they have random bits and bobs in, so there's a bit of gold for me there, that should do well. And then we're going to continue around here. Um, I don't think we can... no. Continue on, actually. Yeah. Uh, now in here, there's usually some sort of grenades, so we've got an incendiary on this one. Um, now we can go through here. What's in there? No, nope. yeah, we can go through here. So we've got a bloke to the left of us, or zombie. So we'll take him out, and there'll be a herb in here. So we'll have that. And around here there'll be a nice case with something. Oh, well, ammo this time. Okay, now in this room is the first what you know the first what I call consider a jump scare. So if you don't want to know what it is, um, and they get to this point and don't watch any more of the video until you've seen it, but around this corner is going to gonna happen. Um, first time I ever played this game, it did make me jump, but since then, obviously, it's I, I look at it and think, why the hell did I jump? But here we go. This, this is known as the Oven Man. So that was it, basically. So. Heal. So that was the oven man. Uh, now over here we have another grenade. So we have that. Okay, and then we're going to progress through this door here. Alright, yeah. now these guys are new enemies. So go for the head, basically. The other option you can do is you can shoot them in the leg. Uh, they will then fall down and give you a bit, bit more chance to get, um, you know, give you a bit more opportunity. So as you saw, even with the Chicago, there it took quite a few hits. So I'd say they're not quite as powerful as the Chainsaw Gandos, but they're getting closer to being that powerful. Um, also, the fact that they're so well armoured, as you saw there, it, the bullets just reflect. So, you know, you, need, you have to get a headshot with those guys, otherwise you you know you're screwed. Okay, now coming down here... What have we got in here? We've got some... Ah, uh, yellow herb, I love that. And we have got a treasure in this room. Okay, so over here we saw there was a case when we came in, so we'll go to there, and that'll be the, the um, first... 
the redstone of faith. So I'm going to combine that now. So it's done. So we're going to have, where are we? Oh, I'm 15 minutes on the time frame, so that's, that's pretty good. So we combine this with the um, golden cat thing. So that's the first one. Uh, we don't need that. So if, you, if you're not treasure hunting, you don't need to come down here. If you are getting the treasures, obviously you do. Um, then you can progress through here. Around here. And that will trigger this cutscene. Ashley. I believe... Right, that'll open... The, it's not the end of the chapter, so ignore me there. Now, how many times do I do that on here, guys? I say this is the end of chapter, and then it's not. But there we go. Um... Alright, so in here, we've got another merchant. We've got the final shooting gallery. So if you need merchant, do so there. We've got rifle ammo in here. Um, any opportunity you see rifle ammo or magnum ammo, most certainly collect it. Because they will be the most, you know, some of the most useful ones to have in the next sections. Um, so yeah, to get through here, you need to kill these guys when they open the doors. So this is just a case of, um, it's a bit of, you know, basic timing. Um, so yeah, it'll be first round of enemies like that. Um, back off away from the door, and the second lot will appear. Yeah. And just to wait a little while, and another set will come at you. And once they're gone, the shutter should stay open. There we go. Now be behind this wall is another guy, so we're going to take him out. Oh, so don't let him accidentally catch you like that. Okay, and then we'll grab that health or whatever they dropped. And there's also this thing here which will have some ammo in, so if you, should you need it. Uh, herb there, which should do well. And now we can progress through to this section. I believe... Yep. This is the... Now we're getting into the hospital area. Um, the hospital area is where the um, enemies I was speaking about are. Yeah, operating room. So this bit actually gave me more chills when I was younger playing this game when it first came out. Um, I was about... F oh, I don't even know when or how old I was. I was like early teenage years. Very early, so like 13 or so. And not even that, I don't think. I may have been like 12, but still, anyway. Um, yeah, this this bit used to creep me out. When, I, when you hear the noise of them, you'll know what I mean. So we've got a nice gem in here. An emerald. That'd be well. So, forgive me if I cock this bit up. I always end up making a mistake here. So we're going to go round into the operating room. Yeah, we need to get the key. And follow that through. So we're now going to get a little cinematic thing of the... Um, this is one of the creatures that I was speaking about, which we need the... Um, the doodad. The... Thing for... The um, sniper for. So come over here, there's a quick puzzle here. Which is, you know, it's incredibly basic. Um, so basically it's just a case of making the um, arrows go to... the rel From the top left corner one to the bottom right corner one. So... If you want to know the quick answers, you press blue, then you press yellow, then you press green, then you press green again, then you press red, and then you press red again, and then you press red again, and that's the, that's the um, how to do it. Now we'll unlock this door, which means we can then go in here, right, and then here, there should be a dead dude. He's around here, who has a key card, so we have that, and that will gain us access to the freezer. There we go, so now that, that thing's been released, it will come in here. Um, you can shoot it, but as you see, it will still come after you. So... It will eventually do that, but as you guys saw, even with my cargo, that took a hell of a lot of bullets to get rid of that thing. So, 
and um, as I've said before, on professional difficulty, you're really scared. Bullets are really scarce, so it's it's not something you'll be able to do quite too easily. Um, yes, if it, once you've got rid of that one, there'll be another one around the next corner. I think it is. Yeah, around here. Here. So I'm, as, as you know, you know, I've taken out all these enemies like piece of piss, but I really, really struggled with them on this section. So I can't. All I can advise you on that one is to try and get past them. So you know, shoot their legs off and try and get around them without them getting you. It's just a case of it's just going to take you guys a few turns to do it. There's if you do everything, do get past both of them on the first attempt. I'll be very surprised because. You've been very lucky, is all I can say about that. Um, so now we need to go into this freezer. So we use the freezer key code, card, thing, majig. There we go. Um, we need to go into into this first room, actually. Yeah, we're going to here first and use this machine here, which is a key card rewriter. And we'll use that by placing the key card in. Okay, now we've got the waste disposal key. And then over here we use this thing, which is the thing to turn off the um, cryogenics. Or to turn off the freezer. Okay, and that will allow us to open, that will then open this safe area in here, which is where we get the um, infrared scope. So there it is. So if we pick up the infrared scope, the door will become locked and one of these horrible things will come alive. And so now we're going to chuck the infrared scope on the um, we're going to try. There we go. Okay, and now I'm not going to use this to kill him because it's this particular one's a bit of a pain in the ass. Where is he? There. But I will show you what I mean about that. The um, enemy, you know, about how you use this weapon now. So now you can see this parasites. In fact, I will use it. So, shooting the parasites, there's one. Shit. Shit. Okay, so you've got the idea. I'm going to finish him off with the Chicago because it's a lot easier. Just for me. Oh, I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. I had debated then whether to use a health item or not, but I thought I wouldn't get caught again. Have I got to do it all again? Oh, you motherfuckers. Alright, so we'll just do this again quickly. Okay, so I'm not going to issue yeah, well, I'll collect it and I can just sell it. So I was going to say I won't bother collecting it because I, I don't actually need it, but um, I will collect it. Because I can always sell it. Actually, you do need to collect it to progress, so. Because that's what makes the door lock, which makes this guy come alive. Um, the only good thing I think about these guys, they might be hard to kill, but you do get an awful lot. You get 5,000 gold for every one you kill. Um, there's, um, yeah, that's big. There is some um, stuff hidden around here as well, so, you know, break glass and use, your, you know, do, use it to your best. Use the environment to your, like, advantage. So we've got another one here. Let's get rid of him quickly. Body's dying, we can get in here. Okay, we'll leave that behind then. Okay, so we follow this up here. And now we use this keycard area. Um, keycard reader, sorry. To use the waste disposal keycard. Right, I'm just trying to speed this up because we're nearly at 25 minutes already. It's been quite long. So as we get further into the game, the um, 
missions do take a lot longer. So we can use this. Um... No, we don't want that. Okay, then we'll have it. Okay, so you can operate this crane, which will then just quite easy. You just pick these, pick these guys all up. Um, and then throw them over there, but I'm not going to do that because I want to progress through this really quickly. Um, so I'm just going to shoot the fuck out of them from up here. Or not, because you can't, because it doesn't sense that you've actually hit them. I need to do it, do it this way. <laughs> Okay, now let's progress through to the next room. Right in here. Uh -huh. We're going to take that, we'll combine that with the red, and combine that with the green. And combine them together, make up a bit more room. Okay, so again, some of these will open. If you want to use them, use them. And then you go to the store here. And I'll continue round. We're nearly at the end of chapter now. Right, round here will be where Ashley is, and two more of them horrible things. So we're going to come round here and kill them. Or try to. Okay, now down here. Ashley, you'll notice it's locked and you need a key card. So we're gonna go back over here and through the store here. Alright, now follow this round. Taking out enemies along the way. I'm go back to my um, laser. Or not. I think I'm better off with my Chicago. <laughs> More or less every enemy in this um, island stroke hospital area will spawn um, the Las Plagas from their head. So, you know, be prepared for that. Follow this round here, up here. Okay, now in here, I believe is a type. Nope, this is where we go. So sorry, ignore that. Go into here. Go through this next door. Okay, now this is a different type of enemy. This one, similar to the other one, but this one can fire splinters at you. Um, he's also got the key card on him. Um, he will have. The usual, um, get a bit of room. He'll have the usual um, parasites like the other guy did, does. But he also has one on his back, so he's slightly harder to kill. But I'm just going to kill him with this to get rid of him. Um, he he can um, pull you into his spikes, so he can do a lot more damage. But as you see, he's got a key card on him, so we'll have that. And now we can backtrack ourselves. I'm going to double check. I've missed no. Um, Treasures, I don't think I have. No, we're good. So basically now I'm just going to head back to where Ashley was. The um, previous room will be refilled with enemies. So don't go charging in there too fast. Oh, my ammo hit count on this... Um, at, you know, at the end of completing the game, you get the um, percentage shot and the accuracy. It's going to be terrible. This is going to be a new record. I think it's going to be the, the longest episode yet. Okay, now we're going to go back down here where Ashley was. Unlock the door. Come on, unlock the door. With the key. 
I want to get this episode over with because I'm running over it almost to my 30 minute limit. And round here will be Ashley. She'll talk to you. La di da di da. And there we go. End of chapter. So, yeah, I'm sorry that's so long, guys. Next chapter will be chapter 5 2. Um, and I shall be getting that done for you guys tomorrow. Uh, it's been the Inflatable Mango. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next video.